Georgian special forces have taken hold of villages scattered throughout Azerbaijan. Incredibly, Kambayn Nagalads appears to have been able to move thousands of troops across the border over a course of weeks, completely hidden from both local and international authorities through a high-tech... Number of Azerbaijani casualties are unknown, but early estimates number in the high... The freedom-loving people of the world cannot stand idly by and allow an act of such staggering inhumanity and scale. In their third day of fighting, U.S.-led NATO troops took three more Azerbaijani villages occupied by Georgian special forces. U.S. troops met only light resistance and suffered minimal casualties. The Georgian commando cells are becoming increasingly hard to locate as military intelligence suffers repeated... Kumbayn Nikolads has vanished, along with his top military advisors. Speculation points to Nikolads's fear of a war crimes tribunal as motivation... A two-minute webcast from locations unknown, Georgian President Kumbayn Nikolads called America and its allies an army of scarecrows, declaring them helpless to defend themselves or their homeland. The precise nature of Nikolaz's threat, expert fear, could make itself known within... Retrieve Georgian communication data. NATO and U.S. intervention has pushed most of the Georgian commandos from Azerbaijan, with only a few well-hidden cells remaining. One of those cells, entrenched in an oil rig on the Caspian Sea, is exchanging data with the presidential palace in Georgia via a secure network. Fisher, we've uploaded your mission objectives. Grim's daughter says the rig's encryption protocols are bulletproof, so we're gonna have to let one of Nikolaz's geeks log on before we get a chance at any intelligence. Why would they be holding onto this rig? It's not Nikolaz's smartest play. That's what got our attention. Nikolaz is sacrificing several cells to hold onto it, so whatever's coming over the network must be critical. Mission objectives on your opsat. Visual on the hostile forces. We're blowing the bridge immediately. Repeat. Blowing the bridge. Hey everybody, it's Cotton here, and I am bringing you a full stealth playthrough of Splinter Cell. In the last episode, we listened in on Grinko and Mass's conversation and got files off of Nikolaj's computer. And we found out that Nikolaj has been waging a secret war in Azerbaijan. Bad news, Fisher. Something got the military's attention. Oh boy. Your rig just got bumped into the single digits on NATO's strike list. Find yourself a technician and get that data. Time just got scarce. In this episode, we are going to find out what information is being exchanged. Now, at the beginning here, it's really straightforward. We're just making our way to the actual oil rig. Everybody look lively. Our computer technician is returning with the encryption key. I need two men to meet him at the docking station and escort him to the data hub. Let's get this finished quickly. We're a sitting duck out here. Now there's no, no worry to be stealthy. And like I said, we don't need to be stealthy in that last area. Uh, it's not until we get to the top of this short ladder here that we need to be stealthy. Now, that is the technician that we need to follow. Uh, after you get up that ladder, you need to come up this ladder, the one that's uh, on the right here. And you can climb all the way up without having to worry about them noticing you, because you're in a pretty good amount of darkness. And then what you want to do is just jump onto this walkway, and then you want, you want to come over to uh, this object here and uh, try to jump on it. It can actually be a little tricky for some reason, I, I don't know why, but you're looking to get on this pipe here and you just want to make your way all the way across. Relay alert from Philip Mass. We have incoming American warplanes. Now this level is uh, a bit easier than the other ones because there are planes flying over and bombing the place and troops getting sent in and people in uh, constant firefights, so there's a lot of background noise going on, so you can move around pretty quickly without having anybody hear you. Now this guy just walks back and forth from underneath here. Uh, if you're playing normally, you could just jump down on him and knock him out, but since I am not 
knocking anybody out in this playthrough. All you need to do is just wait for him to turn his back to you, jump down, and then make your way over here as quickly as you can. Now, the technician will always be covered by two guys. And right here, I usually wait like halfway up this set of stairs because that guy in the back will turn around and take a look back. So I like to be safe and make sure. That's our friends from the Air Force. Ground troops are imminent. We'll keep you updated. I just want to make sure that I don't screw up and he, you know, sees me somehow. But if you notice, there is a guy that was left behind after that explosion. We're under attack! We sustain heavy damage to now he will move back and forth between this area pretty quickly, but what you want to do is come to this spot, get your back against the wall, and then wait for him to come back. And now what you want to do is you need to act pretty quick here. You just want to put your back against this wall and go as right as you can. And this guy will not be able to see you and he will just run right past you. And when he does that, you just run past him. Now, the technician will go into this doorway here, but if you notice, there is a guard right in front of it. And there's also a guard right around that corner over there who checks things out. But in order to get past these guys, all you need to do is flip the switch, which makes the water uh, like burst from these pipes. See? It's still spraying! I swear I turned it off. Sure you did. I did. Now after that happens, these two guys will come check it out, and you can just wait for them. They'll have their backs to you for quite a good amount of time. You have plenty of time to uh, run past them. And once they walk past you, all you can do is just run by. Now you don't want to actually go inside the doorway. You just want to trigger the conversation in there. And you just want to work your way over here. Uh, you have to be careful because those two guys that were checking out the uh, the water pump over there will go back to the door and the both of them will just stand post right in front of it. So you want to get around this corner pretty quickly. And uh, those guys were trying to get past a door but it turned out to be locked so they are finding another way around which happens to be uh, this door right here. If you need a med pack, that first door they tried to go through has a med, med pack on the floor, so if you need one, there is one inside there. Change of plans, Fisher. You're going after that technician, Piotr. You want the briefcase that's chained to his wrist. Downloaded the data to that? To a laptop inside it. Use whatever force necessary. Now, when you get to this point, there's really not much to worry about. Uh, this guy right here will keep his back towards you the whole time. Plus, he'll be shooting all of these uh, computers, and he'll have his back towards you the entire time, so you can just move right past him. And I believe this point, uh, I believe they intended for you to be in a firefight with all of these guys. But you can actually get past them pretty stealthily without them even noticing you were here. Uh, you, as you see, uh, I, you can actually just stand up and run right past everybody. Which is what I'm going to do to get past this guy. Just stand up and run straight for the store and that guy will never see you. And if you need another med kit, there's one right there. But all you need to do is come to this store and... Oh god! There was an explosion that, for some reason, didn't seem to hurt Sam at all. But, that explosion actually took out pretty much everybody, except for the technician. So, I'd just come back out here, and if you'll notice, this is where we started. Uh, you can take out the technician whenever you want to, but he just ends up running all the way down here, so... If you were a little late, or, you know, for whatever reason, you can't find him, this is where he runs to. And so you can just come up to him and then grab him and ask him a few questions. What makes this worth the risk? Who the hell are you? Don't ask any more questions. Answers only and fast. I understand. Why risk manually extracting data from a battle zone? It was the only way. We encrypted with a non-transferable destroyer use hard key. What's the data? 
I'm just a messenger. I don't know. Something about an ark. What's that? I don't know. What little lads want most. Where were you going to take the briefcase? I don't know. I wasn't going to find out until I was on board the escape ship. Mass is a complete control freak. Mass? Please, I don't want to. Ah! Philip Mass, Nicolás is lead programmer. I swear that's all I know. Now, after he tells you everything, you can just knock him out. And you are after this briefcase, but he does drop a satchel that contains a data stick if you want to look at it. But all you need to do is just pick up the briefcase. Great job, Fisher. To make yourself scarce. And that finishes up the oil rig mission. That is definitely probably the easiest or quickest mission in this game. Communication data retrieved from the oil rig has proved to be invaluable. The records are full of vague hints concerning an impending retaliation against the U.S. More concretely, they show evidence of a leak in the U.S. intelligence community, suggesting that the Georgians may have a mole inside one of America's agencies. In the next episode, we will make our way to the CIA headquarters. Thanks for watching.